Okay, Scoot, I'm gonna go over this really quickly for you. Iron Fist, Cage, Daredevil, Iron Man, Captain America, Star-Lord, Thor, Medusa, Black Bolt, Black Panther, Doctor Strange, Captain Marvel. See, simple. Mm. We don't even need to do a whole video explaining Marvel Phase 3 movies and TV shows, do we? Let's do it anyway. Yeah! So, as well as the world of movies, mm -hmm. Marvel is also making more inroads into the world of TV. Yeah. Um, Marvel have got an agreement with Netflix to produce a number of different series there. Each one is a limited series, with the potential of possibly there being further series down the track. So far they've announced four series, Daredevil, Cage, Iron Fist, and Jessica Jones, mm -hmm. all culminating in a series called The Defenders. So it'll be sort of a street level version of The Avengers. Okay, sure. We've got Daredevil here. Now you may remember him from the not terribly fantastic Ben Affleck movie that they did a few years ago. Yeah. Um, Charlie Cox is now playing the role in the TV series mm -hmm. uh, that has been filming. Um, they were at New York Comic Con some time ago and everything sounds like it's going really well there. Cool. They have just cast Jessica Jones for her series. I believe it's Kristen Ritter, most known from Breaking Bad at this stage. Hmm. Word is they're closing in on Luke Cage. Um, and shortly after that, I imagine we'll start to hear something about who's going to get cast as Iron Fist. Hmm. So it's a very interesting thing. They're doing basically TV series which will be released through Netflix so they'll all be available immediately, an entire season worth of it. Oh, so there's a lot of potential for a lot more character development because you're looking at 13 hours of, of yeah. television right yeah. there. Yeah, there's a great way to develop characters over a long period and really get into the you know, studying of those characters mm. and they can go through longer arcs, uh, the stories can branch yeah. out and yeah you can cross over stories and different shows together so it's, it's very clever. And if one doesn't particularly do well, that's fine. They've, they've faded out and they bring something new in. So it's all a great experiment. And uh, yeah, I think it's exciting and a great way to it, move forward. It's also smart that they've done this with very ground level heroes. So you're not necessarily going to have them fighting alien armadas yeah, or yeah, anything yeah. like that. These are the guys who will be patrolling the streets, you know, protecting people from muggers or yeah. that sort of thing. So it's much more doable on a television budget. Absolutely. Hey, can I just ask you something else? How Please. do you know when you're done wiping your ass? <laughs> <laughs> so that's a brief guide to Marvel Phase 3, including the new Netflix series. Hope that you enjoy those and that you've got a little bit of information as to what might be coming up out of that. And uh, if you guys have any comments about these toys or any other toys, let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, we'll see you next time on OSD Toy Reviews. Make mine Marvel. <laughs>